Hello everyone, Fluffy here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we are back in Legacy Realms for the second episode of the Legacy Realms series. And also, before we get started, look at this cute little plum bob hat I have on. So basically, if you're a lieutenant and up, you do the slash hat command. <laughs> I said that weird, I'm sorry, slash hat. Hat. But anyways, if you do the slash hat command with any item, it puts it on your head. And it just so happens that the emerald it looks like a plum bob and also positions itself like this. So I look like a Sam, and also I have my kawaii desu skin on. Just an alt skin I wear from time to time. But anyway, today we'll start out with doing some plot updates, which I, I don't have many actually. Oh dang it, it's raining. Okay, so first you can see, again, like I showed you last time, we have the signature border I did. And once we head into the center, there's a few new things. So I, I finished the glowstone trail all the way around this, and the, it matches up with the wood. And then right here, this looks like diamond, but in this texture pack, it's, uh, prismarine blocks. So it looks like diamond, but it's prismarine blocks. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, also, I added a second story, which, that's probably the biggest change I have so far. I also added a nice prismarine border, and it for any famous people or friends to sign my wall. I have a nice signing wall here that I designed with some quartz and stuff. So now if we head in here, everything's similar except now you can see there's a nice second level. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. <laughs> it's just kind of there for looks. And then here also I have 15 ender chests, so is that enough to go get a uh, dragon gem? It might be. Let's go do that first. And then we'll go mine and start my story for the day. Um, let's see, which way? Oh, who is this? He's new. Particle crafting. <gasps> Ooh. 35 magical clay. <laughs> I only have <laughs> one. Cow pets. What's, is there cats? Villager, creeper, spider, wolf, donkey, cave. Cow pets. Uh, I, I don't know what that is. I'll, I'll, I'll come look at that later. I don't know what that is right now. <laughs> um, marketplace. Where is Hector? Here he is. Hector's the guy that trades the inner chests for the dragon gems. Whoop, created by these people. Um, hello Hector. So, dragon gems. 14 inner chests equals one dragon gem. Deliver inner chest to Hector. Well, how do I... How do I do over this? Do I punch you with it? No? You may not take dragon... Ugh. Oh wait, here it is. Okay, I was, I don't understand that. But here, here's the dragon gem. Pretty fancy. I'll keep it right here. Thank, thank you, sir. Anyways, let's get into our story. So we actually are rank P now. I've been doing a little bit of leveling up, leveling up on my own time. And look how cute this area is. Like, is that a giant butterfly? I think that's a giant butterfly. But anyway, for today's story, we're going to be talking about how <laughs> my plane almost crashed. <laughs> Now that may sound bad, but it's not as bad as it sounds anymore because I didn't actually die. If I actually did die, uh, I'd have to have someone else tell the story for me. Anyways, this was the flight back from Washington, D.C., which I went with my school to a Washington, D.C. trip for the end of 8th grade because now I'm a freshman. The end of 8th grade field trip, we paid for it, of course, but it was still all of us together and it was fun because you got to go with some of your favorite teachers and some of the uh, your favorite favorite people. I just cannot talk today, can I? But we were on our way back, and it was storming, because if you don't know, I live in Nebraska. Now you can come try to find me. I know <laughs> it's it's a pretty small state, but you're not going to find me. So I can tell you that I live in Nebraska. And we were coming back, and there were storms in Nebraska. So they're like, we may have to circle around a while, wait to see what happens. I was like, oh great, another storm. I've, I've actually flown enough. I, my, I started flying when I was three, so I've flown enough to know that storms aren't really that bad unless you actually go into them, but apparently our pilot decided to take us into it, because why not? So we were, we were on our way back from DC and on the plane. It was pretty calm at the beginning. I was enjoying my slightly salted peanuts and um, Sprite, because that's usually the drink I get because I don't have like anything else. I usually get a Sprite on the plane. Uh, and yeah, we're uh, just enjoying life. <laughs> just enjoying it. Playing some Minecraft on the computer. Actually, the kids behind me were playing Minecraft on their phone. And I was like, can I join? They're like, no. <laughs> like, okay, I'll just go play it all alone on my computer. So I was playing Minecraft. And then we started passing into some turbulence. We actually went through the storm, which that's the stupidest thing I think I've ever done before. 
I don't. I didn't actually do it. It was the pilot, but it was the stupidest thing I've been through. Get what I'm putting down, kind of. So yeah, we ended up going through the storm, and it was okay at the first. It was a little bumpy, but then it started getting like, whoa. <laughs> um, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it was like, so say I was working on my computer, I slid all the way against the side of the wall, like ran up against the window. I was looking up, you could see lightning. I was like. Oh, look at this. How peaceful. And then, like, the girl in the, my back seat started crying. And it, she didn't, her parents weren't, didn't go on the trip with her. So my mom started uh, holding her hand. And then she's trying to hold my hand at the same time. So she was like, <laughs> so she was on the, like, end of seat. So there's three seats. I'm against the window. The middle was my mom. And then we had the last seat open. And she was, like, on that seat holding my hand. And then reaching around the back of the seat holding the girl's hand. Which props to her for trying to comfort her like not own child and like I was like shaking around everywhere there was this point where we just straight dropped for like five seconds I was like woo it was more of a scared woo but it was still sort of fun because it felt like a roller coaster <laughs> but seriously it was kind of scary <laughs> so we had that and then we finally got through it <laughs> and we went through one more cloud after that and then that was like a three second drop which was also scary and after that the pilot came on and apologized to everyone for going through the turbulence. I was like, uh-huh, you better apologize, sir. I rammed up against the window. I could have died. Well, actually, this is the title of the story time. I almost died. Which... Yeah. So we finally landed, and everyone was pretty <laughs> shaken up after that. But we all got... We were, we were all fine after that. So we started getting, like, warmed up. Sorry, I was getting texts because I'm so popular. Yeah, anyways, we got off the plane. We all sort of calmed down after that. I had a turkey club sandwich from the airport, which it wasn't actually that bad. But it had, like, mayonnaise or something on it, and I did not like mayonnaise, so... Yeah. But anyways, guys, that is my story for today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please remember to... <sighs> Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I keep getting texts. I'm such a popular person. Just kidding. It was one person texting me. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed, please remember to give a like. Subscribe. Much more new content coming. Like, this summer paradise roleplay. Are you excited for that? I'm so excited. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. At Fluffy the Cats. I post updates there. Just updates about me. My life. It's not really that interesting. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I'll see you later. And bye-bye.